Abdominal hernias. A hernia of the abdomen is a protrusion of the abdominal contents through an acquired or congenital area of weakness or defect in the wall. About 75% of all abdominal hernias are inguinal. Incisional hernias comprise another 10 to 15%. Femoral and unusual hernias account for the remaining 10 to 15%. Classification 1. Abdominal wall hernias 2. Groin hernias 1. Abdominal wall hernias, umbilical, epigastric, spigalian, incisional ventral. Umbilical hernia protrusion through the umbilical ring is mostly congenital, but may be acquired in adulthood, secondary to obesity, ascites, pregnancy, or chronic peritoneal dialysis. Epigastric hernia occurs through the linear alba. Spigalian hernia occurs through defects in the transversus abdominis muscle lateral to the rectus sheath, usually below the level of the umbilicus. Incisional ventral hernia occurs through an incision from previous abdominal surgery. 2. Groin hernias, inguinal. Femoral, inguinal hernia occurs above the inguinal ligament. Indirect inguinal hernia traverses the internal inguinal ring into the inguinal canal, and direct inguinal hernia extends directly forward and does not pass through the inguinal canal. Femoral hernia occurs below the inguinal ligament and goes into the femoral canal. Signs Symptoms of Abdominal Hernias Most patients complain only of a visible bulge, which may cause vague discomfort or be asymptomatic. Most hernias, even large ones, can be manually reduced with persistent gentle pressure. Placing the patient in the Trendelenburg position may help. An incarcerated hernia cannot be reduced and can be the cause of a bowel obstruction. Strangulated hernias are ischemic because of physical constriction of their blood supply. Strangulation can result in bowel infarction, perforation, and peritonitis. A strangulated hernia causes steady, gradually increasing pain, typically with nausea and vomiting. The hernia itself is tender, and the overlying skin may be erythematous. Diagnosis Clinical evaluation The diagnosis of an abdominal hernia is clinical. Because the hernia may be apparent only when abdominal pressure is increased, the patient should be examined in a standing position. If no hernia is palpable, the patient should cough or perform a valsalva maneuver as the examiner pulpits the abdominal wall. Examination focuses on the umbilicus, the inguinal area with a finger in the inguinal canal in males, the femoral triangle, and any incisions that are present. Management Surgical repair, groin hernias typically should be repaired electively because of the risk of strangulation, which results in higher morbidity and possible mortality in older patients. Asymptomatic inguinal hernias in men can be observed. If symptoms develop, they can be repaired electively. Repair may be through a standard incision or laparoscopically. An incarcerated or strangulated hernia of any kind requires urgent surgical repair.